here's what we're going to learn today. A little short how-to. One of our favorite technologies we've been employing at Dimension Software for a little while now, Svelte Sapper, which is the framework that's going to bind your Svelte templates together. And then we're going to integrate Google Ads. Anything that can be measured can be improved. And Google Ads are going to help us and make the right iterative steps forward. It's time. Let's go. Always, every day, got to get that energy level up. Start your day on the right foot with a run, a jog, a little bit of exercise, just to lift those spirits, get the day started, and make sure that you're on the successful path. What we have here is a universal principle. What is the best way to get from A to B, right? Exactly, why not do similarly with software? And that is why today we're gonna to talk about Svelte. It's gonna let you do a lot more lift, a lot heavier, bigger, larger features, larger functions that are gonna build bigger projects with fewer lines of code. There's some things in the middle, of course, always little like syntactic bits, you know, semicolons, right? What do we need them for? All engineers should know when a statement begins and when a statement ends. So we're going to omit these in the interest of like moving from point A to point B, using and looking at fewer characters, writing fewer lines of code that do more. Svelte is one key piece of technology that we employ a lot at Dimension Software uh, because it really brings us back to this, just A to B. The first thing we're gonna do is run this MPX command. It's gonna get us started with the sapper template using the rollup packager. This is in lieu of Webpack. Rollup is the way to move forward with these projects. It's built for these projects. You're gonna end up with a much smaller, more compact distribution. Let's roll with it. Some of you might be curious what MPX is doing. MPX is a very powerful command that's been available since I believe Node 5 or so. It lets you run code built with Node.js and published through the NPM registry locally or remote, like in this case with the Sapper template. Okay. You can see here, and I'll just scroll up, what a breath of fresh air this is. Not too many files, very simple. Let's set up TypeScript. Okay. Boom, all set up, ready to go. Sapper, Svelte, TypeScript. Now we'll run npm i. Let's go ahead and install one more thing. This is the Google Analytics, exactly what I mentioned earlier, easy. It's not enough to just add analytics to any kind of an SPA. That's a single page application because the client side routing needs to be hooked up. It needs to tell Google when the page changes so that the analytics are correct. That's why we need this package. Let's go ahead now and finish wiring up the support for Google Analytics. I'll put this at the bottom so that it runs further down in the DOM. Let's verify that Google is indeed installed. And you can see here that it is. It tried to make some requests. All right, welcome back. This is a very quick and a high glance overview how to get started with Svelte using our favorite framework, Sapper, that Next.js-like thing that's gonna wrap all your Svelte templates up into an offline capable, super fast SPA, something that out of the box is really just gonna shine whatever it is that you're building. We love to use TypeScript, save yourself those mistakes, even the basic ones, you know, as developers, there's so many variables that we have to keep track of. Then we finish this one up by installing Google Ads, something so that you can very early on start calculating some metrics. Like mentioned earlier, anything that can be measured can be improved. 
You're gonna to wanna to be able to reflect on these Google Analytics to know who your customers are, where your customers are coming from, which pages they're spending the most time on, and kinda of try to make some next steps. Maybe it's click-throughs that you can improve little sales funnel paths into whatever it is that you're building to really get to that final click-through action. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button. Ow!